This is the intro jingle. This is the K-Pop DevOps Show with Eric Nam. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages and wherever you are, welcome to this incredible show. Your favorite show in all of the internet. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He agrees. Do you know who he is? Well, I'll introduce you guys. Before we get into it, please be sure to subscribe, rate, review, and turn on your notifications if you're following us on Spotify. Uh, you guys can leave us a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. And you can become a patron of ours at patreon.com slash dive studios. Of course, you can see the full video of this at youtube.com slash dive pods or dive studios. And um, yeah. Children, today we have a very special guest. His name is Davi. <laughs> 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Davi. Yes. And uh, he speaks fluent English. Right? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. So… <laughs> uh, Korean is more comfortable for him. But he does speak some English. Mm-hmm. We'll be going back and forth. So if you guys want… You guys can see this full thing on YouTube. Uninterrupted. And uh, like we always do… If there are things in Korean that you… If you've ever wanted to learn Korean… There's a great way to do it. So… Let's get into it. 뭐가 편해요? 한국말이 편해요? 영어 편해요? I try to speak in English. Okay. 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 I see. All right. Okay. So I guess we should start by asking you… Where did you learn English? Uh, I've been in Virginia when I was elementary school. For uh, a year and a half. So… And that's it? That's it. And you… That's pretty good. There are a lot of people who were there for like five years and they still can't speak English. Oh. <laughs> but I do. Just, just very, very, very honestly. Um, what was it like? What year? How old were you when you were living in Virginia? I was 13. Okay. So like right around middle school. Mm. Did you like it? Yeah. Uh, back then, actually, I didn't like speak English. Because I was very like shy. Oh. But I think now it's better. You're better now? Now. Than when you were 13? Right. So you, did you, I'm sure you practiced and studied a lot for it then. Uh, actually, I don't like practice English, but mm. I listen to like pop songs uh, and watch movies. Right. Yeah. I remember when I f- recently when I found out you spoke English this well, I felt mm. very betrayed. Why? Because I didn't know you spoke English that well. Oh. So like well, all yeah. the time, I'm like talking to him in Korean, and I'm like trying to explain stuff, and all of a sudden he's like, "Yeah, I'm pretty fluent in English." I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> but I never tried to. <laughs> so young, I never tried I know, to. I know. But I, still, I was like, what? I feel so betrayed <laughs> unintentionally. <laughs> um, but we're excited to have you on the, sh- on the show. I'm excited for people to get to know you because you are a singer, songwriter, musician, producer that I, I believe is very talented. And I'm a fan of your work. And I, and I really wish people would know more of your stuff. So uh, if you guys are listening… To this and you're getting to know him for the first time. You guys should definitely check out his music. We're going to get into it a little bit more in depth. But I guess we should talk about like how you grew up. Like you spent some time in the States, in Virginia. But was music always a part of your life? No, I started music when I was 19. Oh, so yeah. not… Okay. Mm. Pretty late. For a lot but of but I loved music uh-huh. since I was a uh, little kid. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But… um. Actually, like my father is a mechanical engineer professor. Uh-huh. Pro- professor. Uh-huh. So I never like had a chance to like say I want to do music to mm. my dad because you know Korea. It's very yeah. conservative and professor. Right. Yeah. So the the menta- like professors are very like in high esteem, mm-hmm. respected. Right. And there's a certain like level in society that I guess you could say people are expecting you to pursue. And it's not necessarily music. Mm. But when you say you first started doing music at 19, that's almost 10 years ago. Right. right? Uh, you went to school for music. Is that how you started or how did you… How did that happen? Uh, at first… But there was always a piano in my house. Uh. So uh, just started uh, playing piano by myself. Uh-huh. And then I went to… Uh, there's a Shiryongumakwa in… Uh-huh. Korea is called Applied Music. Applied Music. Yeah. Okay. I went to Applied Music University. So Korea. that's like a school. That's yeah, the name school. of a school. Right. Okay. Applied Music yeah. University. 작곡과 composed, composing. Uh huh. Yeah. Majored in com- yeah. composition. Yeah. Ma- yeah. Right. Okay. And that's how you started. Yeah. That's how I started. And you know, not be- 
not everybody who goes to that school… I know a lot of great musicians do go to that school. Mm -hmm. But not everybody makes it as a actual player in the industry. Uh, right? Yeah. 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 So I guess after you graduated… And throughout school, how did you pursue music? Mm. How did you say, I'm going to get into this and make this a job? At first, I learned jazz mm -hmm. when, I, when I went to the school. Mm -hmm. But it was not that like interesting or fun. That uh, Not what I imagined what the music life is oh. like. But uh, I found Jamie Cullum. Mm -hmm. He's my hero, mm -hmm. my idol. <laughs> He made me love jazz. Uh, and, uh, because after I met him, I knew him. Uh -huh. I, want, I want, wanted to be like him. Uh -huh. So that's the, uh, how I like, yeah, pursue. So you were pursuing music. You were writing stuff on your own. How did you end up becoming a producer for so many people? Mm, producer. Uh, I like listening to other people's stories. Mm -hmm. And then… Uh, I like I love like pr like uh, letting letting the, the artists like the stories and the mm -hmm. like uh, thoughts mm -hmm. the melodies mm -hmm. yeah that's how I like started to produce. Mm -hmm. How did you get it? Like so, your first I guess your bigger songs were with Hayes. Mm -hmm. You've worked with Soyu. You've worked with Paul Kim. Uh, you've worked with. Super Junior. Super Junior. Yunha. Keep going. Kekko. So, yeah. Idol. I Idol member. Girls. Boji. Yoja. Yoja. Idol. Idols. Yeah, yeah, right. Soyeon. Soyeon. And I will with Eric Nam. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people. <clears throat> but how did you start working with these artists? They called me too. Like, they just hit you up. Yeah, right. I mean, how did you? So Hayes is, you know, you've written the most with Hayes. Mm, you've mm, mm. a lot of her biggest hits, a lot of her number one songs, are with you. How did you guys get to know each other? How did you guys start working together? Uh, Hayes, uh, Junyoung Young, Yong Junyoung, Yong Junyoung Young. Ah, uh, okay, okay, so. okay. So Junyoung of, uh, formerly of Beast, right? Right. Yeah. He introduced me. Because you guys were on the same like Chakuk team, right? Like a, yeah. you guys worked together a lot. Yes, yes. So you guys linked up. What was it like when you guys started to work together, you and Hayes? Uh, Hayes, uh, like at first, uh, Jun Young Young mm -hmm. let Hayes listen to my songs uh, that I wrote, and Hayes uh, said, "Oh, I want to work with you. Uh, I want you to produce my to produce me." Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the first time we get to. So what was the first song that you guys wrote together? Do you remember? Uh, it was… It was… Um, 돌아오지마 acoustic version. Uh, in Angela album. Uh-huh. That was the first song. Do you mind singing just a little bit of that? 돌아오지마? Uh-huh. Well, uh… 그… 나에게 돌아오지마 날 보지마 And then we wrote that… That star? Chobyeol. Uh, uh -huh, yeah. Chobyeol. That was the first 1등 song. That was the first number one placing song that uh, you guys right. did together. Ah, uh, 아니다, 아니다, 아니다. 그 number 아니야? one song was Butterfly from Beast. Oh, your personally. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, so you've, you've been writing a long time. Right. You've been producing a right. long right. time. But obviously producing for other people and doing your own music is very different. Mm. Right? Producing other people's songs, it's you're taking… Their stories, oftentimes, what they want to say and what they want to sing and putting that into a song. What has it been like working on your own stuff? Because you only recently started putting out mm. your own stuff. Actually, the first release was my song in 2014. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I started as a singer-songwriter then uh, producer uh, uh. first. Oh, so you did singer-songwriter first and yes. then you did producer. Yes. And yes. now you're… Yeah. Okay. So… After a long time, you're starting to do stuff again. Right. Okay. Well, I've been 꾸준히 계속 uh, uh, 하긴 uh, uh. 했었는데 uh, 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 uh. 네, 이제 본격적으로 uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm doing my stuff. Okay. 본격, 본격적으로 is like… How do you say that in English? Um, like officially… Like… like <laughs> more focused. Right. More focused. There are words in Korean that you can't say in English. That mm. they just don't exist. Like 본격적으로. 형석, what's 본격적으로? Yeah. See, he has no idea. 
But I guess uh, you… Homkyokjogoro mm-hmm. officially more focused started writing and releasing stuff. Mm-hmm. And your latest EP is Cinema, which was in March of 2020. And there are six songs on it. What was that EP to you? What, what, what did it mean and what was the significance? It was my first EP and mm, I wrote those songs are about my ex girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And all of my. Uh, stories stories with ex-girlfriends mm-hmm. are in that EP mm-hmm. album. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it it meant it meant a lot to me. Yeah. Not now. Oh not now. <laughs> not You've now. moved on. Yeah, I moved on. Okay, that's good. <laughs> well, why, why, why was it why was the EP called Cinema? Oh, because um uh I actually want to be uh, an actor. You do? Yeah, I on it. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. But I'm a singer right now and right. a producer. I'm doing music right mm-hmm. now. And so I um 그 생각을 좀 바꿨어요. Uh-huh. I changed my thought. Uh-huh. Yeah, my life is a movie and I'm a uh-huh. actor of my life. Okay. So I want I wanted to name the EP's title as a cinema. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Would you do you still want to do acting at some point? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm doing acting at my movie. <laughs> oh yeah, you're yeah, you have music video, you're acting in that. I just yeah, yeah, yeah. You just shot it the other day. Right. Um what were you you know, if you were if you could do any role mm. in the world, what role would you have? As an as an actor? Yeah. I wanna do um on Iron Man. You wanna be Iron Man? Yes. Yeah, so do I. I wanna be God too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's not a bad role. You would also be the most the richest actor in the world as right. well. Right. The richest and the um the most smartest. Yeah. Yeah. The coolest, most technologically advanced. I wouldn't mind that as well. <laughs> um Hello everybody. This is your boy. This is Eric Nam and I hope you're doing splendidly well and I hope you're enjoying this incredible K-pop debak show. And as I'm sure you guys may already know, we are sponsored by BetterHelp, betterhelp.com. And BetterHelp is an incredible way for you guys to get help when you need it, just when you need it. I know that we spend a lot of time at home. I know we spend a lot of time living life on the internet. There are so many emotions that we go through because we're bombarded with different messages and notifications and news, good or bad, whatever it is we're going through. And me personally, I feel like I've been going through ups and downs just, you know, the past year in general. It hasn't been easy on a lot of people, but that's why I think it's important for people to get help when they need it. If you need a therapist, if you need a counselor, if you need to talk to someone, you should definitely do that because being healthy and being happy go absolutely hand in hand. Now, why am I saying this? Well, I'm saying this because BetterHelp is a sponsor of ours, but they provide this amazing service where you can get counseling online from wherever you are. You just do it through your phone or your computer or whatever it is. And there are so many licensed professional counselors who specialize in a ton of different areas and it is affordable, it is convenient, and you should get the help you need if you need it. So I want you to start living a happier life today. And as a listener, you're going to get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash kpop. You can join over 1 million people, million who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash K-pop. Now, we're going to do good vibes only. Let's get back into it. This is the K-pop Tebak Show with Eric Nam. Let's go. So, Cinema was your album that was released in March. Um, you also just released a new album uh, in December of 2020. Tell us about yes. this album. Uh, the song's called… Jamie Cullum, mm-hmm. which I really, really um, like yeah. and got inspired a lot from. And the song, the story, but the song is about like my, my life, mm. my musical life, mm-hmm. my singer-songwriter life. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, just go ahead and listen. Mm. Lyrically, you know, what, what are some like key like kasa mm-hmm. lyrics that you really were like oh this is i can summarize this song in this or key point kasa ga key point is uh 629 
six to nine is my working time, no light. So like basic, like normal people mm-hmm. who goes to like 회사 or work, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, start their life at 9 a.m. to right. 9 to 5. Right. But my um, working time is 6 to 9. Like 6 p.m. Yeah, 6 to 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. That's tough, dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's tough. That's tough. Yeah. Um, do you typically sleep that way? Like sleep pattern and everything? Uh, but, but inspiration is mm. Right, when everyone's yeah. sleeping, you get the most inspired. Yes. I agree with that. When I… Well, not anymore. Because I come to dive every single day. <laughs> by 10 a.m. But before… <laughs> I think I'd be the same. I'd probably go to bed like 4 to 5. Oh. Yeah. Four to right? And then I'd be up around noon. Mm-hmm. Not mm-hmm. 6 to 9. 6 to 9 is too hard. But… <laughs> You can't know, see the sun. <laughs> I can see. Yeah, you don't see the sun if you live like that. But um, all right. So is it just one song this time? Uh, two re- songs. Two songs. Two What's songs. the other song that you're releasing? Uh, it's called "I Gotta Sleep." I gotta. Yeah, sleep. I gotta sleep. I mean, yes. yes. So I gotta sleep. So don't bother me. Uh, I gotta sleep to make songs. Okay. Yeah. So this this entire I guess two song uh-huh. package thing is more about you as an artist, singer, songwriter, mm-hmm. living that life. Yes. Yes. Um, was there a particular reason? I, I mean, if cinema is about your ex-girlfriend, mm-hmm. this is about you as like an artist. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, one thing that I find hard oftentimes is to write songs that aren't about a relationship or love. Because I, I just feel like that's most what people usually do. Yes. Yes. Was it difficult to write about yourself as an artist… Lyrically? Uh, no. No? Because it's hard for me to write about love mm. to me. Then, then my life Mm-mm-mm-mm. and my thoughts. Mm-hmm. I mean… I, I, if you guys haven't… I mean… Yes, you're listening to this show. You're listening to this podcast. But you, need, you guys need to check out his songs. The songs that he's written for people. The ones that he's done for himself. There's something about the way that you write and you produce where you can… You have a great ear. Sense it here, then, huh? Yeah, yeah. What is set like a? Kamgak. Kamgak. But in English, what is that called? Hyungsuk, what is this? In... Taste. Ah, taste. Yeah. yeah, I'd say taste. Taste could work. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Taste, where or like this intuition, where I feel like you pick up on another person's musicality very easily. Thank you. So, like, we've worked together on. Two songs. Mm -hmm. Um, But they've both been very different. And I think the second time probably felt better for both of us. I think. Um, Because I think after we worked the first time, you probably picked up on what we were trying to do. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh. So I show up. And he's like, I have this track and I have all these melodies. like, this is great. We should just put it out now. (laughs) Um, But I think that's something that comes from a lot of training and a lot of practice. so I'm really excited for for people to hear your stuff. When it comes to, you know, outside of Jamie Cullum, well, first of all, we should do this. Jamie Cullum, have you met the guy? Have you reached out to him? Have you spoken? Oh, I went to his. Ah, uh, he, he um came to Korea right. for Seoul Jazz yeah. Festival, and I was at the very front line, <laughs> and I. Grab it. Grab <laughs> you grabbed his hand. <laughs> Jamie! <laughs> Jamie! <laughs> and I never washed my hand that day. <laughs> so what are, you, what are you listening to these days? What inspires you these days? Obviously, Jamie Cullum and this new album. But what are some other musicians or songs? Pop, K-pop, whatever that you've been listening to? Uh, I, I um, like Justin Bieber. Mm. And actually, I really like Billie Eilish. Uh. Yeah. And therefore I am. It was very, very… Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Like that type of pop. Yeah, Just like yes. very pop inspired yes, stuff. Yes. Um, on the K-pop side, you've worked with so many artists. Is there a particular song that you are most proud of? Or mm. that you love the most? Which K-pop. I wrote. Uh-huh. Uh, Jenga. 
Chenga. Yes. Why? Uh, Chenga shows the most of my color, musical mm. color. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's with Hayes and Kekko, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this dude has written so many. Check it out. Chenga. Um, so we have some questions for you from fans. Uh, if you guys ever want to ask questions to our guests here, you guys can text us at 310-564-1030. This is for US and Canada only. So, here we go. This is a question from Caitlin in Hampshire, Illinois. Have you named your stuffed monkey yet? Monkey, yes. You have a stuffed monkey? Yeah. What did you name it? It's Tawan. Tawan? Because it's Tabi's Wonsumi. Tabi oh, Okay. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> yeah. Tavi's Wonsungi. Uh. So Tavi's monkey. Wonsungi is monkey. And then you abbreviate that to be Ta Won. Yes. There you go. Ta-won. This is from Hyungseo mm-hmm. in Victoria, BC. Uh, is there a song that you produced for someone else that you wish was your own? Uh, it's Jenga also. Oh, it's Jenga. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we can you sing yeah. us a little bit of Chenga? Okay. Your own version yeah, of Chenga. Yeah. I just wanna play this game. 사랑이란 감정에 매료된 날 가득 채웠네. Yeah. 누가 시킨 적도 없는데 답을 쌓아 올렸네. 너의 조각들로 빼고 깨. 내 마음을 채운 너의 눈, 코, 입과 너의 특유의 말투와 억양. 시야에서 흐릿해져갈 때면 이청거리네 나의 하루가 내 맘에 수많은 구멍이 나도 버틸 수 있는 이유 너라고 이제 네가 한 발짝만 더 바를 때면 난 무너질 텐데 I don't wanna play this game no more Somebody help yeah. I, yeah it sounds so good. Oh. <laughs> I got like goosebumps. Did you hear that, guys? Like that, that silky smooth with the rasp and the oh my gosh, so good. Oh, <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Oh, ah, 그 그냥 다비 씨 버전도 내면 내도 안 될까요? 아 생각 생각 중이에요. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Maybe one day. One day. Uh, this is from <laughs> Yoer. What? Was the last time you talked to your mom, and what did you talk to her about? My mom? Yeah. When did you talk to your mom last? Um, pop to sale. Pop to sale. Okay. <laughs> what did she make you? Oh, she she made me. Uh, ah, cause it was my birthday uh-huh. last time. Yeah, yeah, met, yeah. Met, Recently met was her. your birthday. Yeah. And my favorite food is kalbitjim. <gasps> me too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. and kujolpan. What's kujolpan? Kujolpan is a Korean traditional like king food. Oh, is it yeah. like with you, it's like the mm. man, you put stuff and you wrap it up kind right, of thing? Right, right, right. Oh, how do you explain that? Like nine nine different um ingredients. Ingredients and one tortilla thing. It's like a little it's like a little yes, yes. piece of tortilla. Yeah. And you wrap it all up and you dip it and you eat it. Oh gosh. Yeah, she okay. made me that those two food. Nice, nice, nice. This is from Nerdy3000 on Twitter. What is… Iron Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is the biggest or the best memory you have as an artist? Working with… Eric <laughs> 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 oh, Shut up. <laughs> uh, it was uh, definitely Yusuke. Ah. Your sketchbook. Yeah. Yeah. What was it about it that made it so special to you? I always wanted to be up on the stage. Mm. Mm. And yeah, so so it was the best. Um, so on you hear sketchbook. So sketchbook in Korea is like a, it's a music program where there's a talk interview and you do a version of your song or whatever you're promoting, and it in many ways is, I guess, kind of an iconic show for a lot of people, mm. right? Um, for people who haven't seen it, what did you perform on the show? Mm, Chenga. And, and uh, Beauty and Beast from Cinema. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Beast and Beauty. Actually. Beast and Beauty, yes. yeah. Um, so check it out. There's a lot of stuff for you guys to see. Uh, so those are all the questions that we have, guys. If you ever want to ask us questions, do it on our socials or text us again. 
30 days for US and Canada only for texting. Now, we have a little game here. Game. We have a game. We're going to do a, a game of song association. <laughs> okay. I'm sucking game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're going to be great at this game. Uh, so we're going to play each other in this classic game of song association. So Diane is going to give us a word. Either in Korean or English. And we have to sing a song that has that word in it off the top of our head. And we have 10… Mm. Uh, and if we can't think of a song in 10 seconds, we lose. Are we playing against each other or are we the same Against. Team? Against. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, ready? Forever. <sighs> forever, forever from BY. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Wait, is that a song? <laughs> you have to sing it. You have to actually <laughs> sing it. He just passed out on the couch. <laughs> Forever, forever is in the song. Okay, but that's just the word. That's like me saying forever, forever, forever <laughs> by the Brady Bunch. <laughs> Doesn't count. Oh. I guess I mean that. All right, okay. Next. So that was Shippe. Shippe. Okay. okay. All right. Alone. Alone? I'm so bad at this game. Do I have a song with the word alone? I don't. Do you have a song with the word alone? <laughs> no. Shit. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Are you all singers? I don't know. Okay. Okay. okay next tom, one. Tom. Next one. Next one. Okay. This is for Tabi. Kokjong. Kudeyo. Amu kokjong aji marayo. I don't know the rest. <laughs> you don't know this song? I mean, I know this song, but I don't, that's the only thing I know. Can you can you say the the name of the song and the title or the and the artist? 아무 걱정하지 말아요. By by 이적. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm ready. Next. Goodbye. I'm so bad at this. Goodbye. I'm no good at goodbye. Who sings that? Post Malone. Oh yeah. <sighs> there you go. Happy birthday, Eric. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> Tonight is the night. It's Pika tonight. Yeah, it's a song. I Thank probably, you. I got one. Thank God I got one. <laughs> oh my God. All right, next. Crazy. Oh, oh, Eric. Got me looking so crazy right now. You lose. Got me looking so crazy right now. Beyonce. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay, next. Sangak. <gasps> Eric. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay, ready? 시작. 시작. 새로운 시작은 늘 꿈꾸게 하지. 나저그들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들들
and that's Celine Dion. I know, I'm just saying, I just couldn't think of one. Could you think of one alone? Alone. Alone, I'm alone, I'm alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, all right, Tabi. So, <laughs> we're about to start wrapping things up. But what do you have coming up? What, what can we look forward to from you? You just released uh, Jamie Cullum. Uh, what else are you working on? Um, anything you want to say to our listeners? Mm. I'm working on next Hayes album. Oh, okay. And other many artists. Okay. Including yours. Yeah. And yeah, and and also my next album. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, everybody look forward to it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know Davi just a little bit. Incredibly talented. And again, I still feel betrayed that he speaks English so well. But that's just life. We learn to live with with the scars. Um, and the trauma. <laughs> what the hell am I saying? I have no idea. Um, Alright guys. Thank you for listening to this show. Toby, where can people find you online? Where can people connect with you? Instagram. Instagram? What's and, your… Uh, what's your uh, my ID is T-A-V-I-I-C-H-O-I. Toby Choi. Toby Choi. Toby with two eyes. Why do you have two eyes at Toby? Uh, because there is a Hwajang Pum. There's a makeup brand? Yeah. Toby Ta- with one eye. God yeah. dang it. It's a Taehyung. Oh, can I say the? It yeah, Taehyung Taehyung Gong Hwajang Pum. Oh, what? Taehyung Gong Hwajang Pum. Taehyung Gong has a Hwajang Pum. Yes. Korean Air has a makeup brand. 그 business class 타면은 화장품 이렇게 백을 줘요. 뭐 oh, 맞아 맞아 네. 맞아. 그그 화장품 제품 is Tavi. Oh, so, okay. So I put one more eye. So you stole your name from Taehyung Gong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay. We, I can't believe I didn't ask this. Why do you? Why did you go with the artist named Tavi? Oh, because in uh, I wanted to be an answer to people mm. who listen to my music. Mm-hmm. So tap in Korean means answer. So Tavi. So it means like this is the answer mm. kind of thing. So yeah, we should have done that at the beginning, but we didn't. But if you stayed till the end, now you know. All right. Well, you guys, please be sure to check up on Tavi's stuff. His new music is out. Uh, you can find his stuff all over the internet. And uh, please be sure to subscribe, review, rate this podcast. And let us know who you want to see on the show in the future. Follow us at The Dive Studios or at The Tebox Show on Instagram. And uh, Tavi, is there anything else you want to say to our listeners? Thanks for, thanks for listening to my music mm. and giving a love to me. Mm. I really… Appreciate that. And that's the thing. That I could continue my music. Mm. My inspiration. Mm-hmm. So thank you so much. Alright. And lastly, one last message to Jamie Cullum. Let's meet after Corona. Okay. <laughs> that sounds good. Okay. Finally, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Could you improvise an outro for us? An outro jingle? Any, any, any type. I can't speak. An acapella jingle. Jingle. Oh, 약간 마무리 어 로고송 하나 지금 즉석을 하나 만들어 주세요. Oh, uh, I'm so excited for this one. Thanks for calling me on this show. It's so tebak 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 show. Yeah. Thank you for listening this week. We'll see you next week. Be safe. Be healthy. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, before you go, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for this channel. And comment if you can. And uh, before you go, there's so much more content. Look at this. Amazing content for you guys to check out. Do it. Now. Please. Okay, bye. Go. Bye.